Good morning, everybody. Sometimes this is what I have to do. Become a clown. A clown for the public. The things I have to do, folks. You don't understand the things I have to do. Dressing up, rock and roll bingo, running around, dressed as Father Christmas sometimes. God, sake of the things. The things I do. Right, folks, good afternoon. We're in Shroom Alley again, where I've often wondered what these pipes are for and why there was a. Can't get my hand right. Why there was a gully just down here. So I was speaking to the uh, Ron, 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 the handyman this morning, and this gully seemingly here. This gully, as you can see, it runs all the way down the hill there. That's caused by when they test the sprinklers and the overflow comes out and goes all the way down there. So it comes out of this pipe here and then whoosh, all the way down there. So that's when they test the sprinklers. We have this little gully just down there. Now folks, the, one of the most annoying people I know is right here. There she is, Wendy or as I call it, Dory. She's like, she's like Dory from Finding Nemo. Hey. <laughs> Annoying woman. And we're still here waiting on Wendy to add up her figures. <sighs> Come on. What are we? We're looking like we're 20 pounds, sure. 100 pounds over. Yeah. Right, we've done something wrong. Well, after much deliberation and the jag reworking of the figures, we appear to be right. uh, one ninety-eight pence short. You're going down for it. You're going down for a hundred pounds short just because you're annoying. Right. Goodbye, Wendy. Bye. Right, folks. Some live exciting news here. It's hot off the press from my uh, my co-conspirator. Donald Sutty. He says that one of my stories is going to be in the Courier, maybe tomorrow. Remember when I was at the back of the Stacks Leisure Park around the back of the building, the rubbish that was on the uh, on the ground around the back of the old um, the old disco. Seemingly the Courier picked up on that. Or Donald Donald's nudged them in the right direction, and the story is going to be in the Courier tomorrow. Folks, we're famous again. Yes. Right. It is now 15:32. And I am heading home now to cook red pepper sauce. And we're gonna have some pasta with some other stuff. I don't know. Anyway, by the way, Wendy's not really annoying. I, I do quite like Wendy. I've just got home, folks. What we're going to do, I've got, I've got some work to do, boo. I've got to do my uh, my tax thing for the car. Just got to go online and basically just tell them that my car's mine and it's uh, whatever it is. And basically, I don't pay anything because the car, the engine's so small. So I just basically have to go and tell them that it uh, it's all hunky funky. Also, we have an empty beer glass which is going to be sorted out very soon. We're going to have Champions Ale. I bought two beers today. We have Champions Ale. This one's going to be a glugger. That's what I call it. A thirst quencher. A thrapple dows it, if you like. A quick glug to, uh, to quench the thirst. And then we're going to have this after we've glugged that. We'll sit and we'll sip this one. This will be a sipper. Uh, one I can just sit and enjoy. Alrighty. Okay. Let's go and do this first before we do anything. Right. I hate my laptop. It always runs. I hate my laptop, it always runs so slow And we'll always be friends once again Are you on yet, laptop? Yes, you are. 
Right, here we go. Oh, it's like magic. Look at it, it just comes up straight away. Everything's cool, man. That's it, done. Very quick. Isn't it amazing how fast? I mean, as soon as I hit the continue button, boom, my phone went with an email. Ding! Confirming everything had been done. It was like, how fast? How fast is that? It was like, it's just incredible. It's light speed. It's, it seems to be some sort of funny glow radiating off, radiating off me today. What's going on, man? Look. Ooh, well, I forgot this yellow glow on me. It must be the must be the lens. Hang on, folks, to give the, the lens a wee clean. Is it that, or is it? Have I got a halo? What on earth is going on? I have to have a drink to see if that will sort it out. No, weird. Okay. Right, folks, we're back in the kitchen again. Now I've just made a nice big batch of red pepper sauce. Just tasted it. Mm -hmm. Delicious. The chilies kick in right at the back of your throat. The garlic comes through a little bit later, and the sweetness of the tomatoes. Mm, absolutely wonderful. Now, what I'm going to do though, I'm going to try a bit of an experiment here. Come with me. I'm going to make, instead of having a pizza, I'm going to try and make a little starter. I'm going to make some mozzarella sort of dipper things with some red onion and tomatoes as well. And we'll, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll work something out. So I'm going to make the pizza base first of all, and then we're going to have the mozzarella. Put it in, wrap it up, and then see what happens. Uh, it's a bit of an experiment. I do have tomatoes. I'm sure I've got tomatoes. Yes, I do have got tomatoes. And I've got a red onion somewhere. Ooh, I've got this plum. Plum sauce. What if I do something with that? Sticky plum. Mm. Oh, I've got humus as well. I've got loads of things, man, I can use. Right, anyway, we will try this. Here we go. Wish me luck, folks. I shall be back with a, a nice mozzarella dipper, hopefully. It's the simple pleasures in life that make things bearable, isn't it? I just like doing this, just rolling a piece of dough around a bowl, man. I know. Look at that. You can go the other way as well if you want. Just makes it into such a nice, pleasing, rounded shape. Oh, love it. Right, folks, so what we have here then is basically uh, a tomato red onion with some olive oil, lime juice, and some pepper, and some mozzarella cheese. And we're just going to wrap that and hope for the best. <laughs> An experiment. Right, guys, I've also done all the dishes. I've done them all. Now, remember those bowls we were looking at in the um, in the range? Rosie bought a small round one. I, just, I don't like it at all, man. It doesn't fit in the it doesn't fit in the sink properly. Look, I just don't like it at all. But who am I? Who am I to complain? Anyway, we're going to go and have my, my director's ale now. I'm going to sit and sup that. What time is it? Five past five. Time to watch a bit of the chase. Have a beer. Chill out. Rosie will be home about half past. Oh, I've got my, my starter thing. My, my Jags. What are we are going to call it? I need to think of a name for it. Jags mozzarella roulade. Mozzarella <laughs> roulade. Yeah. Okay. There we go. That should be about another, what, 10 minutes? Ooh, I can't wait, I'm starving now. So let's go through and change the scene and we will end up watching, we're watching the world's worst roads. Okay. Hey, folks, there it is. It's come out of the oven. It's Jags, mozzarella, roulade. There it is, crikey. I'll have to cut it open, leave it to cool and then get in there. Right, folks, absolute disaster. I burnt my thumb. I dropped the, I dropped the Jags mozzarella roulade. Oh God, I'm so annoyed at myself. I pulled out of the oven there. Pulled out of the oven with an oven glove on, but the the heat still came through. And I dropped. Oh, I'm such a clumsy. Oh, I'm so annoyed with myself, folks. Really annoyed with myself now for doing that clumsy idiot. Oh, the tomatoes all over the floor and everything. Oh, Jack. 
honestly. Right, I think I should be okay then. 